Have you ever wondered about the mechanics of Europe's climate policy? Let's imagine Europe's climate policy as a person, someone who tries to stop climate change. First, they have to bring together all European countries in order to then create the instruments necessary to achieve all climate policy targets. Let's take a closer look at one specific example, emissions trading. To reduce CO2 emissions, the European Union distributes a limited number of emission allowances. These tradable permissions to emit CO2 ensure that a certain maximum in emissions will not be exceeded and that at the same time, CO2 emissions will be reduced where it's most beneficial. But the European climate policy does not stop there. It additionally supports renewable energy and the introduction of measures to improve energy efficiency. The additional renewables, however, cause the demand for emission allowances to drop, which in turn causes their prices to drop as well. So the emission allowances are purchased by coal-fired power plants, allowing them to emit more CO2. We at Entract analyze the interaction and interdependencies between different areas of action and suggest measures for a more efficient climate policy. The exact purpose of each instrument needs to be determined. The support of renewables aims at reducing their costs and helps make them more competitive. Emissions trading is meant to reduce CO2 emissions. Both instruments have different goals but influence each other. The European emissions trading system needs to be reformed. The support of renewables needs to be better focused on cost reduction. But this is only one of many examples and there is still a long way to go. By improving the understanding of interaction mechanisms, Entract helps make Europe's climate policy more effective and efficient so that Europe may contribute less to climate change.